Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 20 most badass movie scenes of the century so far. Pumping in three, two, one. For this list, we'll be looking at the craziest and most sensational action sequences of the 21st century. Which of these wowed you the most? Let us know in the comments below. Number 20. Escape Extraction Even though 2020 didn't see many movie releases, it still provided audiences with some great sequences. The police station sequence from Birds of Prey proved to be one of the coolest Harley Quinn moments ever. However, Netflix's Extraction contained an extravagant action sequence that further blurred the line between big cinematic events and at-home streaming. Uh, can't you trust me? No. Good. No! Uh. The scene was expertly filmed and edited to look like an unbroken 12-minute sequence, and the results are nothing short of extraordinary. One-take shots may be a bit gimmicky sometimes, but we always love to see the results. Okay, we're gonna jump on three, right? What? One. Ah. Oh. The punch and realism this sequence brought made it one of the most badass scenes of the year. Number 19, The Stairway Fight, Atomic Blonde. With this sequence, Lorraine Broughton proved that she could give James Bond a run for his money. Lorraine is an MI6 agent looking for a document called The List, which contains real names of every Cold War spy involved in the collapse of the Berlin Wall. Everyone's hunting for it. The Yanks, the Frogs, Soviets, of course. Her adventure leads her to Spyglass, an East German officer who has memorized the names. And in one amazing fight scene, Lorraine battles various goons in an effort to protect him. The 10-minute single take features some spectacular choreography, and Charlize Theron proves her mettle as a bona fide stuntwoman. The fight stuns on a visual level, but it's also a technical marvel that leaves our mouths hanging wide open. Number 18, Naru vs. the Predator, Prey. This acclaimed movie from director Dan Trachtenberg takes the Predator franchise back to its roots by following the tale of a resilient warrior using their bravery and ingenuity to fight a dangerous alien in the woods. This is as far as I go. No more. This is it. No. Bring it home. Naru is the young Comanche who emerges victorious over the Predator. And what a battle it is. Consuming plants to mask her body heat and employing the alien's own targeting system against it, Naru is nothing short of brilliant. She's a formidable hand-to-hand -hand fighter too and proves her own against a much larger and stronger opponent. Just to rub salt in its many wounds, Naru also paints her body in the Predator's glowing blood, a stellar visual that represents her ascendancy to War Chief. Number 17, Istanbul Chase, Skyfall. 2012 gave us the iconic Batman vs. Bane fight in The Dark Knight Rises. However, Skyfall contained an excellent opening sequence that must be commended. During the scene, Bond and Moneypenny chase a mercenary named Patrice through Istanbul. Although the Bond franchise has plenty of impeccably staged action sequences, this is easily one of the best the series has ever produced. It's just wall-to-wall -wall excitement, complete with a motorcycle chase on the rooftops, Bond tearing apart a train car with an excavator, and a fight atop a moving train. The filmmaking and stunt work are extraordinary enough to elevate Skyfall above its 2012 competitors. Take the shot. I said take the shot. I can't, I mean it, Bond. Take the bloody shot. Number 16, The Church Fight, Kingsman, The Secret Service. When people look back at the greatest action sequences of the 2010s, the church battle in Kingsman likely springs to mind. So hail Satan and have a lovely afternoon, madam. A now iconic scene, the church fight managed to wow viewers with its brutality and technical innovation. 
The story goes to some unexpected and unpredictable places, as Harry is driven mad from the signal and ends up slaughtering an entire church congregation. It's horrific and grisly, but it's also magnificently filmed. The stunts and choreography are amazing, the music is fantastic, and the slightly sped up frame rate lends the scene a manic atmosphere. It's a glorious marriage of story and wicked filmmaking. What did you do to me? I had no control. I killed all those people. Number 15. Plane Hanger Crash, Tenet. Say what you will about Tenet's confusing story, but there's no denying that Christopher Nolan continues to impress as a blockbuster filmmaker. Who else is crashing a real airplane into a real building and filming it for our entertainment? And then you get to set and it's like, yeah, we've got a 747 and we're crashing into a building. That's how we're achieving the 747 crashing into a building. Nolan had planned on using special effects for the plane crash, but it was actually cheaper to buy a real Boeing 747 and crash it into a building. So that happened. The endeavor was shot by multiple cameras, naturally, to make sure that all its spectacular carnage was captured on film. This is the type of wondrous movie magic we don't see very often, and it solidifies Nolan as one of the most ambitious filmmakers of all time. Number 14. Climbing the Burj Khalifa. Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol. Tom Cruise is undeniably one of the greatest entertainers in movie history. He's a great actor, a solid producer, and a spectacular stuntman that has gifted us with some of the best action sequences of the 21st century. For Ghost Protocol, he rubbed his hands together and decided to climb the tallest building in the world. Am I supposed to do this? Cruise got himself rigged up and hung around outside the Burj Khalifa, literally. He climbed the building, swung from it, and even ran down it while looking at the ground thousands of feet below him. Every single thing about this just screams nope. Of course, the helicopter chase from Fallout is tremendously entertaining, but the Burj Khalifa climb is simply iconic. Where's Ethan? You gotta be kidding me. Number 13, the Casbah Shootout, John Wick Chapter 3, Parabellum. This shootout took the usual John Wick excitement and sprinkled in Halle Berry and a few doggos into the mix, and we are here for it. John and Sophia meet with Barada, who proceeds to shoot one of Sophia's dogs. No, you cannot keep my dog. Very well. Very well. And I will kill you. This kickstarts an enormous shootout as John and Sophia battle Barada's goons. Both Halle Berry and the dogs provide the sequence with some notable stunts, which makes their additions all the more memorable. As usual, the filmmaking is exceptional too. The choreography is creative and flawlessly executed by professional performers, and the camera follows the action with terrific clarity. Number 12, Maverick's test run, Top Gun Maverick. No one could have predicted that Top Gun Maverick, a sequel to a nearly 40-year-old movie, would prove to be one of the year's biggest hits, yet here we are. Uh, Mach 10? Let's give Mach 10. Such is the unstoppable cultural power of Tom Cruise. The stuntman is at it again, this time flying in a fighter jet at incredible speeds. This is unbelievable filmmaking and the closest most of us will ever get to this type of air travel. The camera zips, whips, and flips with the aircraft, and we almost get sick just watching it. It looks a million times worse for Cruz, who is clearly struggling to stay conscious. His face warps with G-forces, his breathing grows labored, and we watch it all in utter amazement. Damn. <sighs> Number 11, Kitchen Fight, The Raid 2. There are martial arts movies, and then there are the Raid movies, which are simply on another level. This sequel is filled with exceptional fight scenes, and it's basically wall-to-wall -wall action. It's hard to pick a single standout, but we're going with the kitchen fight. This will likely go down in history as one of the greatest martial arts sequences ever put to film. 
Both fighters are agile and move with incredible speed and precision. The fight also makes use of its environment, as the men slam into tables and use the likes of baking trays and bottles to batter each other's faces. It's all captured with remarkable camera work and tight editing, both of which helps us appreciate the choreography on display. <laughs> Number 10, Boromir's Last Stand, The Lord of the Rings, The Fellowship of the Ring. Boromir goes out in a blaze of glory at the end of The Fellowship of the Ring. After turning on Frodo and attempting to steal the ring for himself, Boromir earns his redemption by defending Merry and Pippin from the attacking Urukai. It's an exercise in bravery and nobility, and yes, badassery, as Boromir continues to fight even after getting hit with two arrows. Although he's barely able to swing his sword, Boromir stands against his foes for as long as he can in his attempts to keep the hobbits safe. Unfortunately, a third arrow proved too much for him to bear, but at least Boromir went out as a hero. Also of note is the charge of the Rohirrim from Return of the King, which gives us full body chills every single time. Number nine. The Warehouse Fight, Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice. Maybe this film didn't quite meet our expectations, but we'll always have the warehouse scene. This is pure Batman goodness, and the very embodiment of the character's fighting style. Thermal imaging is showing me two dozen hostiles on the third floor. Why don't I drop you off on the second? Basically, it's the perfect marriage of brutal realism and comic book shenanigans. Batman uses fun gadgetry to manipulate his opponent's weapons, attacks from out of nowhere, and does some crazy cool things with his grappling hook. Heck, any fight where Batman kicks an entire grown man into another is alright in our eyes. When it comes to on-screen depictions of the Bat, Batfleck is arguably the fiercest, and that comes through in memorable action arrangements like this one. Number 8. Otachi and Leatherback Fight, Pacific Rim Guillermo del Toro's Pacific Rim is an ambitious film that portrays an apocalyptic future in which humanity is at war with giant monsters. To combat the monsters, humans utilize massive robots called Jaegers. In the film's finest sequence, the Jaeger Gypsy Danger fights two monsters named Otachi and Leatherback. The scale of the fight is simply incredible and packed with creative visuals and jaw-dropping moments. At one point, Gypsy Danger uses an entire ship as a weapon. While Leatherback is taken out with a plasma cannon, Otachi is sliced in half by a massive sword. The pure kaiju action on display makes for extraordinary viewing. Number 7. Sandstorm Chase, Mad Max Fury Road. The fourth installment in the Mad Max series is regarded as one of the best action movies of the 2010s. Although it contains plenty of insane and varied action scenes, the most gripping of them all was the sandstorm sequence. Seeing the approaching storm makes for a frightening and awe-inspiring view. The visuals only get better once the characters enter the churning sand. Oh, what a day! What a lovely day! While the red and orange light of the storm makes everything feel eerily surreal, amazing shots like the one where a truck and its occupants fly through the air leave us breathless. Number 6. No Man's Land, Wonder Woman This film is easily one of DC's greatest creations blending an unforgettable lead performance, bold feminist themes, an intriguing period story, and some eye-catching production design. All four combine in this iconic sequence. 
No, but it's what I'm going to do. Diana proves her bravery and ventures alone into no man's land. The symbolism alone is worth a spot on this list, but the scene also works well at surface level. Diana! The slow motion walk, the empowering music, generally awesome displays of super heroineness, it all meshes perfectly and gives us chills every single time. When we look back on the superhero craze of the 21st century, this scene will stand proudly as one of the most awesome. What the bloody hell is she playing at? Number five, Darth Vader's Rampage, Rogue One, A Star Wars Story. The Star Wars franchise has enjoyed a phenomenal 21st century between this and the climactic Anakin vs. Obi-Wan fight from Revenge of the Sith. It's safe to say that Rogue One, however, is one of the darkest Star Wars films to date. One of the most memorable moments comes when Darth Vader goes on a rampage through the Rebel command ship. Just as the troops acquire the Death Star's plans, we hear Vader's iconic breathing echo through the dark hallway. Suddenly, his red lightsaber cuts through the darkness. The reveal itself would have been amazing on its own, but it's what follows that remains burned in all our memories. In this scene, he proves why he's one of the most feared men in the galaxy by striking down the rebels with ease. Vader had never seemed so terrifying or so badass. Number four, train fight, Spider-Man 2. Spider-Man 2 is often regarded as one of the best superhero films ever made. In the year it premiered, Achilles and Hector fought in Troy. Tom Cruise took out some briefcase stealing thugs with frightening precision in Collateral. But Spider-Man 2 swung to the top of 2004 with its iconic train sequence. When Spider-Man has to stop an out of control train, he shoots countless webs at nearby buildings. Tell everyone to hang on! Break your down! The combination of his webs and superhuman strength proved just powerful enough to slow and stop the train right before it plunges off the track. It's a cool sequence that's made even better by Danny Elfman's music and Tobey Maguire's performance. He convincingly sells Peter's physical pain, anguish, and exhaustion from saving the day. Number three, this is Sparta, 300. Serving as yet another adaptation of Frank Miller's work, 300 gave audiences a highly stylized depiction of the Battle of Thermopylae. Ancient Sparta is also dramatized a bit, unless of course there actually was a massive, unprotected, bottomless pit in the middle of the city. That ominous hole became a huge part of one of the movie's signature sequences. Submission. Now that's a bit of a problem. When King Leonidas I takes issue with an envoy's message, the royal delivers an iconic line before giving the messenger a close-up of the pit. Gerard Butler's gruff delivery and dramatic slow-motion kick made this scene gloriously over the top. This is Sparta! Number 2. The Bride vs. The Crazy 88. Kill Bill Volume 1. 2003 was a great year for action sequences. In The Matrix Reloaded, we got a great freeway chase. But the winner of the year was the crazy 88 fight at the end of Kill Bill Volume 1. Tarantino's love letter to kung fu films honored the genre in spectacular fashion with this climactic fight sequence. Silly rabbit. Tricks are for kids. In typical Tarantino fashion, the scene is intentionally over-the-top and cartoonish, complete with lots of injured henchmen and some questionable physics. It's also wonderfully edited, has great choreography, and contains fantastic stunts. Go home to your mother! The violent and action-packed climax Kill Bill had been building up to certainly did not disappoint. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into settings and switch on your notifications. Number 1. 
Avengers Assemble, Avengers Endgame. The image of Godzilla melting everything in his path in King of the Monsters was definitely memorable, but it just couldn't top a scene that was a decade and billions of box office dollars in the making. This incredible sequence begins much like a sci-fi western, with a battered cap standing alone against Thanos and his army. Suddenly, a seemingly endless stream of heroes arrive through the portals to the sound of Alan Silvestri's uplifting score. The heroes charge at Thanos as the Avengers theme blares in the background. Avengers! Assemble. It gives us chills every time. It's going to be a long while before we get another moment as cinematic and as earned as this. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.